Hey PJs, welcome back to another video. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe down below to become part of my PJ squad, which is always awesome. And as always, comment down below what you guys would like to see next. Or if you just wanna hop down there and say hello, I'll be answering as many comments as I can. So without further ado, let's get into this video. So today, as you can see by the title, I am reviewing Slime Obsidian. I know I review him quite often, but I know a lot of you guys request him or at least have been requesting him, not lately, but I decided to get from him again because I like his slimes, like, his slimes are great, and like I swear, whatever shipping he uses, I don't know what it is, but it's so awesome because, you know, UPS and USPS and all that stuff is behind at the moment, and you know, everything's delayed. But as you guys could see from the bottom when I put the shipping there, it only took five days to get to me, which is very abnormal for like what's happening right now with all the delays, because things are still delayed, and I'm still not getting packages nearly as fast as his stuff. So. I don't know what the heck he is doing, but it is fabulous because these packages are coming in so, so fast. His normal shipping rate is like three days, which is like still like, it's just insane. Five days is still insane. And I love that so much. So I just wanted to mention that. So just with any standard order, you get Borax and his care card. I do believe he's not doing candy because of the coronavirus stuff, which is perfectly fine. I'm okay with this. So I ordered three slimes this time and they all come in these clear screw top lid containers, which I love. I love them a lot more than his white ones because these seem to be a lot more sturdy. And then on each side is the label of the slime with obviously like a do not eat little section on there. The first slime I am reviewing today is Strawberry Buttercream. And this one is a little nostalgic to me. For those who have been watching since I had like for subscribers. I did review him and he was the very first shop that I ever reviewed and I got a slime called strawberry buttercream because my boyfriend wanted it. I technically he ordered it I guess and within like a few hours it had turned like stiff and hard and stuff so I wanted to see if it has changed if maybe I just got the wrong batch I don't know I'm kind of scared to try this one because I don't want it to turn out bad because his buttercream textures are really nice but we'll see. So I just wanted to say that this texture has improved so, so much since I first got it. Of course, it's been, I think, just about two years now since I tried it, and I love this slime for now. I'm still scared, but I think it'll be fine. Now, I do like that he has added these, like, little, um, I think they're supposed to represent, like, strawberry seeds or something. It adds a lot more depth to the slime and, like, the strawberry theme that it has going, which is awesome. The scent has not changed since then, which I do not mind because it is a very nice scent. It's really hard to describe. It's very artificial, but in a good way. I don't really know how to explain it. It's very sweet. You could tell it's strawberry, but there's definitely a lot more components to it that I really just can't put my nose on. Um, and I love this actually quite a lot. If you guys actually watched that video, I do believe, I, I don't remember if I said it in that one or the re-review that I did, but I remember that I said that there was a little too much clay to slime because if you guys know, usually slimes that have clay in them will over time turn basically into clay again. I'm not sure exactly what happens. I don't know if the clay absorbs the slime or not but this one definitely has more slime in it and that makes it a lot more puffy than it was it's super soft really nice and like it's really good definitely five out of five and i'm really hoping it stays like this because it's a really nice texture
The next slime I'm reviewing is Cloud Sugar Crunch, and if you guys know, like obviously you guys probably know because I've said it probably a thousand times, but I'm obsessed with crunchy slimes like Snow Fizzes and Floams, Micro Floams, all that good stuff, so I knew I had to try one, and I've never actually tried a Floam from him, so this is exciting. I also want to say I completely appreciate the fact that he fills his slime up to the top. I think that's awesome. All right, so there's a lot to say about this slime. If you guys couldn't tell, it does rip pretty easily. I think it's whatever base he used because it does feel very rubbery, like a rubbery school glue base. It's very, I don't know what, like maybe generic. I don't exactly know what to call it, but it does feel very rubbery. Now, it could be that it is overactivated. That does happen, and I do believe he lives in Florida. Where I'm from, it is definitely colder than there, so it's really hard to predict, you know, how it, the slime is going to be. So if it is overactivated, that is not his fault, um, because, you know, the seasons can be butts sometimes, so it's really hard to, like, tell what the texture should be on arrival, stuff like that, but it is a really nice slime. It's a little... I don't know, maybe I was expecting more out of his flows because it is Slime Obsidian, but that's like on me. Maybe I shouldn't expect that much out of people. Um, but regardless of that, I do love this slime. The Cloud female slices are adorable. I love the add-ins. The scent is definitely cotton candy. I have the exact same scent. It doesn't really remind me of cotton candy. It's just a very sweet scent. It's, it's really hard to explain, like sweet candy, I guess. Um, but it is a very nice slime, nice add-ins. I do wish it would obviously be stretchier, but I think over time it'll be okay. And there is some fallout. I'm not sure if that is from it hopefully being overactivated. I'm not sure. I am going to give it like a... 4.7 out of 5 just because there's a lot of things that I don't know about this slime. Like, I don't know if the fallout is going to be okay. I don't know if it's always going to be rubbery. That kind of thing. But I'm sure it'll be fine. I just wanted to give it a 4.7 just because it's not my favorite and I want to make sure you guys know exactly what I like. The last slime that I am reviewing today is Pikachu Fizz and you guys know I had to review a Pokemon themed one because Pokemon is life. I love Pokemon so much. Anytime somebody does a Pokemon themed slime I'm like I gotta get it. Now I do think that Pikachu is a little overrated with slimes because that's what like everyone does is a Pikachu one which is perfectly fine. Pikachu is adorable but I would like to see someone do other ones you know just I don't know. I'd like to see more, but the slime is beautiful, and it is a snow fizz, and I'm obsessed with snow fizzes right now, so I am excited.
So I'm not exactly sure where to start with this one, but let me just say the scent is absolutely heavenly. If you guys don't like lemon scents, I wouldn't recommend it, but it smells exactly like lemon pound cake and like, let me tell you, that scent is just heavenly. I've had a few other slimes that are scented like that and I am obsessed. That's, that's, I guess the minor reason I got this slime is because I wanted to smell it because I'm obsessed with that scent in slimes. It smells so, so good. You guys saw that it is a little rippy and that's why I'm not really sure how to describe this slime because it's like, it's like if there wasn't enough snow fizz and too much at the same time, it is so interesting. And it's not a bad thing. Like I really do like it and ripping is pretty generic in um, snow fizzes just because of, I guess, how they're made. I'm not really sure, but the texture is like really, really dense. Like, I don't know, it's like a really dense cake that I'm messing with because it is super dense and not like, not in the sense that it's like thick, but more in the sense that like it actually feels dense. like. I don't know how else to describe it. Like, I guess the opposite of a puffy slime, a really, really dense slime. And even when it's puffed, it's still dense. It's awesome. I love the add-ins. There's little lightning bolts and Pokeball charms and hearts. And the slime is just adorable. I love it. And I love the concept. As I mean, as far as I could tell, the concept is like Pikachu's fur, but I love it. I love this slime. I don't know. It's so interesting. You guys are probably like, what is she talking about? But like, it's, I don't know. It's like the slime is like 20 different textures at the same time. It's blowing my mind and I personally like it. So I'm definitely five out of five for this one. It does take a little bit of warming up so that it doesn't rip as much, but it's still so nice. I, oh my goodness. If you guys like lemon scents, you have to get this slime because it, oh my goodness. It's so cute. I'm obsessed. But with that, that is the end of the video, and I want you guys to let me know if you like this type of video. I kind of put more detail into exactly what the slime was like and how I felt about it, because I know some of you guys like detail, but just let me know if you like that. I don't think this video was too long for three slimes, and I think I gave enough information to you guys if you wanted to buy these or not, which is the point of these reviews. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and with that, I am signing off, so I'll see you guys in the next one.